politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. 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 On The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fuller. Well, good morning, people. Uh, welcome to the Buzz UG once again. And uh, my name is Amela Zmilo, a.k.a. Fula. I'm back with the latest update right here. Now, the president of Rwanda, Paul Kagame, has said he's looking forward to retiring and handing over power after 23 years in office. Uh, speaking at a joint press briefing in Rwandan capital, Chigali, with his uh, Kenyan counterpart, that is uh, President William Ruto, uh, Kagame said a succession plan is being actively discussed by the ruling party, RPF, uh, terming his uh, retirement as a certainty. Uh, he added that uh, he was not necessarily interested in choosing his successor, but rather creating an environment that would give rise to people who can lead the country. Now, a few months ago, just like Uganda, there were reports that uh, President Kagame was uh, preparing his son, Ian Kagame, uh, to take over as the next president of Rwanda. Well, it should be recalled that uh, Paul Kagame was elected president of Rwanda in 2003, so you can do the counting and see how many years he's remaining with, if indeed he's uh, retiring at 23 years. Now, this morning, uh, pictures of uh, Patricia Nabakosa over the ghetto kids on a hospital bed are saturating so big time on social media. Uh, we haven't really confirmed what she's suffering from, and uh, according to the statement posted on uh, the Triplets Ghetto Kids page, uh, they didn't communicate details about her sickness apart from a healing prayer. But uh, looking at the pictures posted, I think she's not doing well. And of course, uh, right here on the Buzz UG, we wish her a very quick recovery. Now, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Tayewa, has expressed disappointment over the continued absenteeism of ministers, which saw the entire front bench virtually empty during the yesterday's parliamentary sitting. Uh, it was therefore decided that Parliament adopts the method to name and shame absentee ministers. But bad manners have resumed, whereby ministers are not taking this house seriously, and yet they are members of Parliament. If this continues, then I will be forced to really ask the committee on rules summon these ministers to remind them they are members of parliament. If you don't want to be here as a minister, be here as a member of parliament. We are going to be getting the rota for that day. When I reach here, I start calling. I say, you submitted the rota as a ministry. On this day, that this rota be made public, such that as you have done it, you are also able to say, on this day, this ministry should be represented by Minister A.